I believe it will work. Uh, I think it was the right decision to take. But frankly, it was not just the decision of the ECB. Uh, the ECB took that decision of quantitative easing in a framework of decisions taken by the Eurogroup, by the European Union, and also uh, by the governments themselves. Structural reform is very important. It has to continue. Now in Europe, people are aware that uh, it's necessary to improve the productivity in Europe. So quantitative easing is working already. It was helpful in terms of confidence. Confidence is coming back. There is also an important consequence in terms of the value of the euro. And this is certainly additional support for the experts of Europe. I think uh, there are risks, uh, political risks in Europe, uh, namely because of the high levels of unemployment. We have seen in the recent years some extremist parties gaining some support. So there are some populistic, some cases, extremistic uh, positions. But frankly, I believe that the mainstream uh, political forces are strong enough to uh, continue, uh, let's say, a European consensus. So uh, we have to be attentive to those risks. Uh, but uh, I believe there is enough support for uh, the process uh, of economic reform that we need in Europe. The situation in Greece is not yet solved. I still hope there will be a solution found. Uh, there is now an effort to have some kind of compromise between Greece and the other members of the euro area. But accidents may happen. I have to be honest about that. Accidents may happen. But I think there is sufficient political will on the other parts, uh, on the other part of Europe, to find an accommodation uh, for Greece if Greece commits to continue the reforms that are necessary to increase the productivity uh, of that country. I would say that in Europe today there is a consensus about the need of structural reform. And in fact, structural reform is happening. Uh, we have a um, change in retirement age, reforms in social security systems, in the labor market, in the public administration, in the tax administration, in education. But quite f frankly, I would say that the pace of reform and the scope of it is not the same across countries. Some have to do more. Uh, but I believe, broadly speaking, that the movement is being in the right direction.